Hi guys, from my previous Inspiron 16 review, I mentioned that I would take a quick look at how the transition to Windows 11 has gone and if I encountered any issues. So here's a quick look at my experience so far. So I made the choice and took the plunge and update into Windows 11 and frankly, I'm glad I did. I was initially a bit concerned about this because there's been a lot of feedback on the internet from other Dell users who have been claiming that the update had bricked their laptop. So to begin with, I wasn't offered Windows 11 through the Windows Update utility, but instead I downloaded the Windows 11 installation assistant, and you can find the link in the comments to download this. Another thing to ensure before updating is make sure that your BIOS is running the latest version. This will reduce any chance of the installation going bad. And this can be downloaded from the Dell website. At the time of this video, the current BIOS version was 1.13, so just ensure you're on that latest version. Also, make sure that you are just patient when the update has been carried out. Even if the installation looks to have halted, just leave it. Don't be tempted to turn off your computer. I had a 10 minute period where the installation percentage didn't change at all. And as you would, I got a bit concerned, but eventually it did continue. So in total, the installation took about 40 minutes which is a bit on the slow side, but I can live with that if everything went smoothly. The common issue I always seem to run into when updating Windows are the drivers, but this time there were no problems with the drivers, which was surprising. All audio devices worked perfectly, all USB ports working perfectly, so it looks like Dell properly configured this laptop ready for Windows 11. Everything in the operating system just feels a bit snappier and the percentage of memory being used while idle was pretty much similar to Windows 10. I didn't notice any issues such as fans spinning up more than normal or any random crashing or any applications throwing up any errors. Games also performed pretty much the same as on Windows 10 with no noticeable drops in frames per second or any performance issues. If anything, when launching the games it seemed a bit quicker but that could just be my perception. Content creating with Adobe applications was also unaffected and performed as smoothly as it did on Windows 10. I had no issues editing videos, no issues exporting videos, and the exporting process did seem a bit quicker as well. I don't want to go too much into the features of Windows 11 as you all probably know this information already, but I want to briefly touch on the user interface. Firstly, the settings panel is laid out well and a lot less confusing than Windows 10. And this feels more in line with the settings you would find on Android or iOS. I found it much easier to locate what I was looking for and you're also presented with related settings at the bottom. The new start menu is a welcome change, which is defaulted to the middle, but you can move it back to the left if you wish to do so. This menu just feels like more of an app drawer now which essentially I guess it is. And you can pin and reorder applications for ease of access. Using the touchpad smart gestures complement this. And for someone who doesn't like seeing desktop icons, this has changed how I'm using Windows for the better. For example, I've set up a three finger tap to open the start menu. So I'm never more than a couple of interactions away from opening applications that are commonly used. And this is also while keeping all my desktop icons hidden. The quick settings panel can also be customized to only show the controls that you require. And you can adjust the ascent color for these buttons throughout the UI. So far, I can't really say much bad about the transition to Windows 11 and it just seems a bit more polished. That's not to say people won't have issues, as there's definitely been people out there who have had problems after updating. But for the Inspiron 16, it all ran incredibly smoothly. There are a few parts that Microsoft have been a bit lazy on, such as when diving deeper into the settings, the theming isn't there. But personally, I don't access these settings enough for it to bother me. So I hope you found this video helpful and that it gives you a bit more confidence when making the decision to update to Windows 11. As always, 
If you could hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you all for the next video.